All right, Matt Mitchell is with us. Uh, he's had a wonderful career for San Diego State. Uh, if you follow Aztecs basketball, uh, a key contributor on this 30-2 and two season. And the question is, will his career continue with San Diego State for a senior season? Matt, it's great to have you on. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you have declared for the NBA draft. So what went into that decision and what you hope to learn during this process? Um, uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me on uh, once again. Um, but I, I, I'm going into this this process just looking to to, to learn anything I, I can take from this and, and get better at um, in the future uh, for next year's purposes. Um, I don't think it's it's so that that I may get drafted, but I, I mean you never know. Just just with the circum different circumstances and 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 whatnot. Um, just up in the air. Uh, you just never know. So um, I'm just going into this with with open arms, uh, looking to, to to learn anything and, and gain any knowledge possible. Well, Matt, obviously uh, we would love to see you in the NBA someday. And by the of course, you, you've been with us since your freshman year. You've been a big part of our Loose Cannon show, Matt. Um, but at the same time, we're a little bit selfish here. You know, we we. <laughs> We want to sort of have a finish to what was arguably the greatest season the Aztec basketball program's ever had, uh, but never got to finish. Uh, and th there's a lot of pieces in place for the upcoming season. So, you know, we, we talked to Malachi Flynn, and he held out a long time uh, before finally making his intentions of going into the NBA. Um, how much will the incomplete nature of this past season factor into whether or not you come back to San Diego State another year? I think that I think that it, it factors a lot. Uh, it, it's a really big factor, especially for for guys like me and Malachi that, that um, kind of really looked at the tournament to um, – we looked at the tournament as, as the time for, for us to show out and, and to shine our best and, and to – put our best foot forward at, at, at our opportunity at a national championship um, and just at the biggest stage possible, um, teammate-wise, personal-wise. Um, so I, I think that that really weighs heavily on it, just not being able to, to play in the tournament and having the season fall a little bit short. Um, but, I mean, we did go 30-2, and two and we, we had a great season, um, and we accomplished many things. Um, and – you know, it, it's just it's just kind of hard to 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 leave that leave that alone and, and say that that it's just okay uh, because that that's something that that a lot of guys in college basketball really prided themselves on. So, Matt, as as it stands right now, would you expect to be back in a San Diego State uniform next year? Um. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think that's. Uh, I don't think that's too set in stone right now. I think that. I think that I would uh, more likely come back, but um, just depending on uh, different circumstances uh, with being in the NBA draft and and if things do open up, um, I'll take those opportunities. But you never know. Um, so I think everything's just still up in the air and uh, just going about it, uh, talking about it with my family and the coaching staff and. and my inner circle and just taking things one step at a time. Matt Mitchell is joining us. Uh, three great years at San Diego State, such a key member of this 30 and two team we saw this past season. Uh, Matt, if you do return, uh, it's an intriguing team, especially if Mensa returns uh, because he started the season in front of you. Uh, you started the season with no complaints as the six man. He went down. You started the rest of the year, but with you and Shackle, uh, and all of a sudden we have Troy Gomez coming in, the super scorer. Uh, on paper, man, that that looks like a pretty good uh, San Diego State basketball team uh, that we could possibly see in the 2021 season. Uh, yes, it does. I, I have to agree with you. I think that's a very, very appeasing and uh, um, it, that, that roster, um, that look of the – the team does look very good, um, I have to say, and uh, I think that's that's exactly why I I, I want to come. Uh, I think I I want to come to a decision um, here soon, um, and, and not linger on it, but uh, take my time and 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 hopefully just just make the best decision possible. Um, I think if I if I were to come back, um, 
I think that that we would have a great team and we would have a we would have an opportunity to do things that are that were similar to last year. Um, I, I wouldn't say we we would exactly repeat that because you you never know uh, just with, with due time. Um, but I, I definitely think we'd have an opportunity to do something great again. Again, Matt Mitchell joining us here on Extra thirteen sixty. Matt, if if you do return. And you become, let's say, the focal point of the offense at San Diego State. I think I talked to Brian Dutcher about a week or so ago on GoAztecs.com, and he said you could absolutely be you know, a Mountain West Player of the Year type player in 2021. So if you come back, what type of impact could that have on your draft stock potentially in 2021 as you continue to show scouts and teams uh, more of your game moving forward, let's say? Um, most definitely. I think, that, uh, I think that next year when I come back, um, I don't think I would settle settle for anything but uh, Mount West Player of the Year and, and contending for that. Um, I I believe that um, I believe that going into next year, I think that's the mindset I, I need to take into it and to assist in leading this team um, and to and to trying to do what we did last year, um, knowing that I've been here for three years, that I am a veteran. Um, if I do come back, I feel like that's the mindset I have to take into it. I think that's uh, I think that's what everybody would expect. Matt, going back to the start of last season, when you were not in the starting lineup when the season began, you were coming off the bench. You know, a lot of people were questioning. You weren't, but a lot of people were saying, so what's the deal with Matt Mitchell? By the end of the season, your first team all-conference. So what what did you learn about your own game where did it really kick in for you uh, as far as this past season was concerned individually? Um, I don't think I learned anything new about myself. I think I just learned that I got my groove back. Um, just moving on that transition from, from high school to college and just having those those two years, those first two years in college maybe that I didn't want to and I, I wanted them to be better. Um, I think in that third year – I think I just showed that that I was myself again, and that I just lost the weight, and I, I was able to to play at a high level. Um, so I, I definitely think uh, just I mean just coming off the bench uh, just early in the season um, was just just all mental for me. Uh, I just knew I had to come off the bench and, and be aggressive um, and still play my game no matter where coach was putting me. Um, so uh, I think that's I think that's just all mentality, and it, it was just at the end of the day, it was just something I had to do. Um, I, no, I don't think anybody wants to play out of position, but I see myself as a very versatile player. Um, and I, I think at the end of the day, uh, everybody wants to win. So it was more about winning and and and, and going 30-2 and two, um, rather than, than personal gain and personal stat, stature. You certainly showed off your versatility this past year. Again, part of that 30-win uh, team. I go back to the to the night against Utah State at Viejas, that incredible night with Kawhi in the building. You scored 28, 24 points in the second half, an incredible game and performance. I, I want to ask you about the pandemic's impact on, like, yourself and your teammates. Like, w- what has this spring been like? What's the summer going to look like? And are you able to get in gyms and get shots up and work on your game or – or how have things changed based on what's going on in the world? Um, well, you know, it's it's changed for, for a lot of different athletes, a lot of different sports um, all over the world, and, and everybody moving to in-home workouts and, and, and private workouts. Um, I know especially just for the teammates that have, that have been here um, around with me um, that, is, that it's hard to work out, and we're working out outside, uh, maybe uh, at a friend's house in a neighborhood, um, just, just two people together uh, working out on the street. Um, you know, you you just gotta you just gotta find a way to get it done. Um, uh, I think this team is, is striving to be great again, and and I think they're not gonna let anything stop them. Um, uh, I think the the work that that everybody's putting in on this roster is is, is uh, well put for, and, and it'll show. You know, we've been talking about. I'm sorry, Matt. Um, you know, we've been talking about the NBA and when we're going to see the NBA back and everything else. Uh, does the uncertain nature of just where the NBA stands with their seasons uh, factor at all for you right now? Or are you just looking to sort of show your goods off uh, to the NBA and, as you said earlier, trying to figure out ways to take your game next level? 
I think I, I think my mindset is is a little bit of both. Um, I, I'm still thinking on, on predicated what the NBA is doing, and, and of course the NCAA is going to follow suit in what the NBA does. Um, and that's what everybody would believe, in, and that's what happened. Um, but uh, I mean, as well as I, I'm going to get my body right and in the best shape possible to to uh, I mean, as you said, show off the good uh, to the NBA and show them that I can play at that level. Well, Matt, we wish you the best of luck uh, wherever that does take you. Uh, if it's back into a San Diego State uniform, that'll be great for the Aztecs moving forward. If it's to the NBA or professional basketball, of course, we wish you the very best in that uh, as well. But we look forward to catching up uh, when you've made your decision and determination later this spring and summer. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.